but if you're watching this video and you're not feeling well maybe you are sick or you're going through a very tough time don't worry we are praying for you just believe in god everything is going to be fine welcome back to my channel thank you for your love and support for the returning subscribers if you are new here you are welcome please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so friends in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my experience all the experience of how it feels like to be a mixed couple here in italy this video was requested by one of my subscribers i know she's going to be very happy when she sees this video another thing guys you should know if it is your first time here in my channel i'm a tanzanian lady married to an italian so i am in an interracial relationship so you who is interested in interracial relationship this video is very perfect for you but also if you're someone who enjoys watching life experiences videos where you want to know how things are done or perceived in other countries then just stick here and i can promise you you will enjoy this video because these are some of the videos where you smile from the start of the video till the end because i'm always real with you when it comes to life experiences video where i have to talk of my own experience then you know that this video is gonna be lit so without wasting much of your time let us jump into our video right now <laughs> so guys i'm going to be sharing with you two experiences of how it feels like to be a mixed couple here in italy one experience will be the outside people the perception of italians white people when they see a mixed couple another experience will be us me and my husband <laughs> the experience of how it feels like to be a mixed couple here in italy and not only that guys i'll also be sharing some of the experiences of my friends who are in a mixed couple relationship it can be here in italy or outside italy but europe my experience number one of how it feels like to be a mixed couple here in italy the outside people the perception italians or white people they will give you strange looks looks like what is she doing here <laughs> in our country <laughs> they'll give you looks like she's here for money she's here for papers there is no love there people will look at you strangely some of them will just look at you and start laughing <laughs> so so if you pay attention to that you might even fall down <laughs> because they look at you talk and then laugh so you'll ask yourself a lot of questions <laughs> which will annoy you so much you will get those looks but also you can also get these looks from young italian men if you are dating a much older man than you they'll be looking at you like hey girl come to me i am young he's old <laughs> this happened to us one time we were at the mall for shopping and then one italian guy was looking at me blinking at me calling me in front of my husband which was very very disrespectful but what he was trying to do he was trying to tell me that hey girl he's old i am young come to me <laughs> so you'll get such kind of strange looks but also guys leave alone the strange looks there are also some people who will approach you in a very nice way admiring you telling you that you are a very nice couple wanting to know how you met and for example for me they always ask me about my country tanzania how it is the development the culture the tourist attractions 
you find they are very interested to know more about my country and some of them ask do you have a sister here in Europe beautiful as you are <laughs> you know asking you those interesting questions not thinking that you're just a poor girl who just took a white man in order for you to be in Europe no just talking to you in a good way like normal people so when you are in a mixed couple relationship here in Italy you will get people who are so curious to know more about your country more about you and how you met my experience number two of how it feels like to be a mixed couple here in Italy from the outside people Italians <laughs> or white people <laughs> so when I was pregnant people could just be excited to see your baby some of them could write to my husband that they are excited and they can imagine how our baby is going to be beautiful when my husband used to post me in his whatsapp profile so when the baby was born first of all the father at the moment sophie was born when the nurses were taking sophie to clean her <laughs> My husband was like, she's so beautiful, my love. She's very, very beautiful. For me, it was so strange. She's still very little <laughs> and even very dirty. Not cleaned yet, but he told me she's so beautiful. They used to take babies and put them in a room, stay with the nurses. But this room had a mirror, a very big mirror, so that people who come to visit the new mothers sees those babies so the babies could stay with only nurses without mothers so sometimes when sophie was taken into that room i could just be moving around you know <laughs> doing some exercises <laughs> for those three days so you could see people gathered looking at sophie saying that she is very beautiful she has got a lot of hair one lady told me that sophie has got a lot of hair compared to all the babies that were born <laughs> that day <laughs> so it is something very new to them it is something that they really pay attention to it i don't know guys but in a very good way not in a bad way and as sophie grows when we go in the streets for a walk you see people stopping you wanting to touch sophie's hair saying that she's so beautiful <laughs> sometimes some mothers can have their babies in their hand but when they see sophie they're like oh my god she's so beautiful wow <laughs> like she has seen something i don't know guys <laughs> They say that she is so adorable. They come and touches her hair. Something that cannot happen in Africa, guys. If you know, you know. <laughs> in Africa, if someone comes and wants to touch your baby's hair because of the witchcraft beliefs, <laughs> a mother will be very protective not to allow you to touch her baby's hair. But here, guys, if you're in a mixed couple relationship, that is so normal, very normal, guys. <laughs> they will touch her hair, they will want to talk to her, and maybe it's because Italians love kids. Another thing that I have discovered is that Italians love someone who has got curly hair, especially if you're a woman, men will go crazy for you. <laughs> that is even why I think people really pay attention to sophie wanting to touch her hair saying that she is so beautiful not that other babies are ugly not at all just because of the curly hair and her mixed skin so that is the experience that we always get but if you're in a mixed couple relationship you can also comment below and tell us you can tell us if you have kids and you experience such a thing here in italy my experience number three of how it feels like to be a mixed couple here in italy from the outside people the perception of italians or white people before i say this guys you need to understand that not everyone will think like you mm -mm, not so some people guys when you are with your husband, he's white, he is Italian, they are going to act very 
nicely to you, very friendly, they will smile at you. If they are giving you a service, they are going to give you a very excellent <laughs> service. They will tell you you are very beautiful, beautiful smile. But guys, when you are alone, you will be very surprised if they are the same people that smiled at you, <laughs> became friendly to you when you were with your husband. People are going to be very serious. They might even not greet you. They can even give you a very bad service because you are alone, you are black. Maybe they think you are an immigrant came with a sheep. I don't know if there is a crime with that. If someone maybe is running from the war <laughs> in his country, <laughs> is that a crime, guys? I don't get it. So they will think that you are an immigrant, came with a sheep, very ignorant, and treat you like trash. I don't know why I am saying this because I experienced it. There are some other black women who have never experienced such a thing and they are living in Italy <laughs> and that's why I said some not all because we can't think the same so they will treat you very very badly it happened to me one time I was in a hospital for almost three months that is another story for another day guys it was a very worst moment of my life I stayed in the hospital for that period of time some nurses who were taking care of me at first i used to be very very surprised like why are they like that someone enters in the room gives you if it is medicine and then leaves or look if everything is going well and then leaves without saying anything to you how are you or anything guys with a serious face but when my husband comes, that same nurse <laughs> that was very serious, that did not even greet you, could start smiling, talking to my husband, talking to me, treating me good, saying that I'm, I'm beautiful, saying good words, making stories, guys, with my husband. <laughs> then I was like, but do you know what? When I was alone, no one was talking to me. They did not even greet me. These people are very strange. And then my husband would be like, just leave them. <laughs> just leave them, ignore them. So it really surprised me. And some people guys can see that you are a couple, you know, but they will never accept that you are a couple. <laughs> I don't know why. The same time when I was at the hospital, I really experienced a lot. I had never thought that I could experience such a thing because before I used to say that those things don't exist. So at the same time I was at the hospital, I spent my birthday at the hospital and my husband made like a surprise visit to me. I didn't know that he was coming. I thought he was still at work, working, and I said, I'm in the hospital, I don't think that there will be anything. But my husband came and <laughs> brought a cake, gifts, and we really enjoyed that day. So the next day, my husband had to return to work. I was left alone. <laughs> and the same evening, when my husband left, came the doctor, told me that they are going to discharge me the next day. <laughs> so there was a nurse who was listening what the doctor was saying. When the doctor left, this nurse was telling me, so are you going to the shelter house? Guys, <laughs> I was very surprised. <laughs> I was like, shelter house? Yes, are you going to the shelter house? She even mentioned the shelter house near that hospital so i was like no i'm not going to a shelter house if you don't know what is a shelter house it is a house where they stay people who don't have houses or they're going through maybe uh, violence in their houses <laughs> people with no home guys they don't have where to stay so they stay in the shelter house so this nurse thought that i was from the shelter house <laughs> 
I told her, no, I have a house, I have a home. <laughs> I'm from this city. So when I told her, she was like, wow, that city is very beautiful. I really like it. And when my husband came the next day when I was going home, I told him everything and he was like, yeah, she thought that you are an immigrant, you don't have where to stay. And I told my husband, but they used to see you all the time coming. How could they think that I'm staying in a shelter house, I don't have a home? Then he said, maybe they thought I'm just someone who is helping you out. <laughs> So some people guys sometimes can see you as a couple but again they don't want to accept it that you are a couple they will think maybe that man maybe that white man is just with you helping you out because maybe you are poor you don't have where to go <laughs> so that is how it feels like to be a mixed couple here in Italy but again guys not all not all people are going to think that way because we think differently everyone thinks differently <laughs> my experience number four of how it feels like to be a mixed couple here in italy especially if you have kids now i'm talking about the couple <laughs> how it feels like <laughs> both of you <laughs> you are black and he is white <laughs> or you're black and he is italian if you have kids raising kids can be very very challenging guys <laughs> in an african family whereby if i do something wrong my parents used to punish me by beating me up <laughs> so here in italy in europe you cannot touch a baby no matter what she does what they advise you is maybe to scream at her talk in a very strong tone so that she or he can understand <laughs> but as for me you know i'm an african lady when a baby does something, something comes like I should. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> so what I always do, guys, because I get very angry. My baby does something that has annoyed me so much. You know kids, <laughs> they can even challenge you. These mixed kids, trouble. <laughs> If you have a mixed kid you know they are trouble very stubborn so you get very angry and you can't take it anymore you have screamed but it cannot help what I always do I just go into a room or outside and I just do <sighs> release all the stress all the anger because <laughs> you cannot touch that baby <laughs> We are in Europe, you can't touch that baby. So it's a bit challenging, guys. <laughs> Another thing is that when it comes to raising kids, due to the laws and how these Italian men were brought up, they really participate 100% in raising the kids. But the good ones, I know bad Italian men exist. So these good ones, who have brought up very well and they respect the laws they really really participate a hundred percent in raising the kids take the kids to the park or if you're going to a doctor's visit maybe a mother is busy doing something the father can go with that kid or maybe you are doing house chores at home then the dad will be playing with the kid they really participate a hundred percent when it comes to raising the kid which is very good guys that is another experience of being a mixed couple here in italy with an italian man my experience number five of how it feels like to be a mixed couple here in italy with an italian man <laughs> you need to be very strong because italian women have a strong character and that is why men are very disciplined in their marriage so if you are soft 
because I know as black women back home in Africa, they teach us not to reply to a man when he is talking. You should keep quiet. <laughs> you shouldn't talk because if you talk when your husband is talking, it means you disrespect him. If you reply him when he talks, then it means you are so disrespectful in an African culture. So if you come with that <laughs> and you start keeping quiet, even if something is making you angry, is annoying you, you just keep quiet, you don't talk because we were told not to reply to men. We were told not to talk when men talk. My dear, this Italian man is going to stress you because they are very stubborn. So you need to be very strong. You need to be someone who speaks for yourself. You stand <laughs> with your nails, you talk. <laughs> But of course, guys, if there is something to talk about, if something makes sense or it is something you don't like, you have to tell him, I don't like this. If you continue like this, I am going to leave you. <laughs> Compared to our African men, I don't like to compare. But if you tell them that I don't like one, two, three, four, if you don't change, I'm going to leave you because he has got a lot of girlfriends, a lot of options. He is going to tell you, go i don't care but for italian men when you tell him i don't like one two three four you need to change or, or don't do this again i did not like it then he's going to tell you okay i want to repeat it i am so sorry please forgive me let's make things work he's not going to be ready to lose you <laughs> when they love you they really really love you and that is why they can be possessive and that is why they can be very very jealousy because they will give you everything guys they will treat you like a queen <laughs> they will help you with house chores they will give you money when you want money i have a lot of friends who are paid by their husbands just to be their wives <laughs> When it comes to money, he is going to spend on you. When it comes to taking care of you, he is going to take care of you. Like me, guys, when I go for shopping, I go with my husband. We choose outfits. He goes and choose some outfits for me, and I choose my own outfits for me. And then I try them all, which one I like, which one he likes. And then we come into an agreement, which outfits to take. He will be there for you he will be with you all the time but if you betray him or show him something that will make him jealousy he does not think twice to take your life because he has given you all <laughs> i mean all guys they really really know how to take care of a woman they really know how to spoil a woman it feels like that guys but don't forget exist bad italian men who cannot even take care of a woman they exist but guys the percentage is very small most italian men are very responsible <laughs> my experience number six of how it feels like to be a mixed couple here in italy with an italian man <laughs> as a couple this man is going to treat you in a very special way because everything is new you are from another race <laughs> so the things he will do with you he might even not do them to a white woman he's going to treat you in a very special way and of course you as a black woman you will also treat him in a special way you know something different something to explore and this brings me to this silly silly question that i asked my husband one time <laughs> you're going to laugh at this guys but you just forgive me if it doesn't make you smile or if it disturbs you in any way <laughs> so 
One time I asked my husband, that day he was so happy we were going out and he was telling me beautiful words, I love you so much, you are everything to me, <laughs> you are the reason I live, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I tell him, hey, you're exaggerating now. <laughs> So he was telling me such kind of words and I had to ask him a very silly question that it is something I used to hear when I was back home in Tanzania. Some men used to say that white women are very cold. <laughs> Guys, I'm not trying to offend white women. Please, please don't get me wrong. <laughs> we are getting a life experience. So they used to say that white women are very cold. I mean the goodies, they're very cold when it comes to, yeah, those matters. So I had to ask my husband, but I have to ask you a very silly question. And then he was like, mm-hmm, ask me. <laughs> I told him I had white women, the goodies, they are very cold, is it true? Because that is what I used to hear back home in Tanzania. Then he told me, no. <laughs> I told him, answer me honestly. No, 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 no. I'm answering in a very honest way. There is no difference. It's the same. Because <laughs> they used to say, white ladies are very cold, then black women are hot, the goodies. My husband was like, no, 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 no. It's the same. <laughs> there is no difference. <laughs> And then he had to ask me too, something he was very curious about to know. So he asked me, I have to ask you also a very silly question. I told him, okay, you can ask. <laughs> then he was like, I heard all black men have got a big eggplant. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've not dated a lot. <laughs> they was like, stop lying to me. Tell me the truth. So in the end, I was like, no, it depends, you know, with a man. Some small, some big. So sometimes, guys, you find yourselves asking silly questions when it comes to the goodies situation, the SX <laughs> situation, you know. So yeah it feels that way sometimes <laughs> as a mixed couple but it is fun <laughs> my experience number seven of how it feels like to be a mixed couple here in italy with an italian man as a couple sometimes you have to be very open-minded because remember everything is different culture difference <laughs> food is different how you react to things is different. You were brought up differently, so you have to be very open-minded. To come into an agreement of mixing up <laughs> your culture, your beliefs, the food, he should eat your food, and you eat his food. <laughs> there are some food that you're not going to like, and there are some food that he is not going to like so if he doesn't like some certain food that you eat african food then don't get angry and think that he is disrespecting you as long as he eats some of your food then just appreciate because you too not all food that you are going to like like me they are some italian food that and food that i cannot eat and for him an ugali uji he does not want them he does not eat that <laughs> and we are okay with that <laughs> or sometimes can happen an argument about a certain kind of food for example in Tanzania when we eat rice it can be lunch or dinner but my husband tells me Italians eat rice only for lunch <laughs> and for me I just sometimes wake up and want to cook rice for dinner <laughs> so he just eats and says that ah, you are so strange <laughs> you are so strange i tell him in tanzania we do it this way <laughs> so you have to be open-minded if he complains don't punish him it's okay because <laughs> 
that is not something he grew up doing. Another thing, guys, this is really, really serious. Italians don't understand the whole thing of paying bride price. <laughs> Whereby for us black people, it's so important. It's a big deal, guys, <laughs> because it's our culture. But for Italians, it does not make sense. He will tell you that, am I buying you? Why are they saying that I should pay? Why should I pay for you? <laughs> are you an object? <laughs> <laughs> why should I buy you <laughs> so it is your responsibility to make sure this man understands the whole thing of paying bride price because he has to respect your culture but also guys if there is a situation whereby this man cannot pay for your bride price but for some circumstances, circumstances at that time he cannot pay for the bride price then you have to be open-minded and agree with and talk to your family until this man is ready to pay for your bride price because he has to pay <laughs> if you're from those African families that they really really pay attention when it comes to culture then he will have to pay but sometimes you'll have to be very open-minded another thing is Italian men or white men, now it is in general, they don't understand this behavior of us black people sending money back home to our relatives or our parents or our friends, people we care. They don't understand that. It is very, very hard for them to understand. But if you talk to him and make him understand, then he will accept, but not always, guys. <laughs> <laughs> not every month but he's going to accept it it's not that he's gonna say no 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 you cannot you will send but not always i think i talked about this before it's because for them family is you the kid and him that's all that should be number one priority not your relatives not your parents <laughs> not at all because even them they don't take care of their parents like giving them money it's the parents that gives the kids money here that is how it works <laughs> so when you hear these things don't be like no you are strange it's not like that or get frustrated you have to be open-minded talk about it and come into an agreement so that is how it feels to be a mixed couple here in italy with an italian man <laughs> we have come to an end of our video thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it it made you smile if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video comment below what you think about this video watch my other videos too they are so good you will enjoy all of them <laughs> don't forget to subscribe if you haven't join the family please i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.